Good morning, sports fans. This is George with Custom Tide Flies and Guide Service. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, this morning's tutorial is going to be on the Griffith Snat. Uh, this is a generic searching pattern. Stands in for a lot of different stuff. Um, a bunch of trichos sitting on the water or uh, a bunch of midges sitting on the water. Or maybe a single midge. There's a lot of different things. Um, a lot of times the fish, when he's looking up, he's just looking for something to light on the water. When he does, he'll come up and eat it. So, um, this is a nice little searching pattern. Stands in for a lot of different stuff. Uh, so, I'm tying these on a uh, Mustad 94833 long shank thin wire dry fly hook. Uh... I have pinched the barb down, and I'm tying in with Danville Flymaster 70 denier uh, thread. <clears throat> Tie in at a point right behind the eye. Run your thread down to the part where the shank and the bend come together, then Come back forward. Um, excuse me. I have selected some grizzly hackle off of a hide. Um, before I pulled it off the hide, I ran it across a hackle gauge. I don't know if you can see or not, but I think you can. So, in order to gauge hackle again, the gap, take your hackle stem lay it against the shank and you can see where the barbs are coming down past the point that's what you're looking for you want your dry fly hackle to be one and a half times the gap i trimmed the short part off i'm just gonna tie this hackle in all the way up here in the front and I want that hackle to be good and secure. Then I'm going to run the thread back up. And the next thing is peacock curl. So I select two peacock curls. I line the ends up, which kind of lines the tips up. Trim off that part there where it attached to the stem of the main feather. And again, I tie them in right behind the eye. And I run the thread all the way down. Okay, now, for reinforcement... I'll make a dubbing loop I'm gonna hang my twister in here just for just to keep that out of the way I'm gonna run the thread back forward and I'm gonna put a couple of half hitches in here Use my bobbin cradle. Now, get my dubbing twister out of the way. Now I got this loop, and I'm gonna weave this uh, peacock curl. into the dubbing loop.
Now you you don't necessarily have to do this, but I like to do it, like I said, just to reinforce uh, the hurl. put my hackle pliers on there and I turn it usually 10 or 12 times and you see how that hurl has become uh, like a rope on the thread and then I use the turn feature of my vise And see how I get a nice tight peacock curl body. <clears throat> now, do you have to use a dubbing loop? Hell no, you don't have to use a dubbing loop. You can just tie it on there and wrap it forward. <clears throat> I'll... Now, another half hitch. Bobbin cradle. Oh, I got my peacock or my hackle feather, hackle pliers. And you want to try to get them wraps as close as possible, because the whole point is for this fly to sit on the surface tension of the water and it sits on the surface tension of the water by the spring action of the hackle fibers Put a little head on there. Use my whip finish tool. A dollop of head cement. Now listen. This is uh, rump head cement. It's essentially uh, clear fingernail polish. Do not use UV resin on a dry fly. UV resin is dense and it will sink your dry fly. Um, so take that out. Sit it over here to dry. <clears throat> and on to the next one. Well, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to uh, <clears throat> like and subscribe. Um, you can find me on Custom Tire 01. Uh, that is the Custom Tide Virtual Fly Shops Facebook page. You'll find all kind of cool stuff on there. And don't forget my website, www.custom-tide.com. Thank you for playing. Have a nice day.